Hi and welcome to another quick tip tutorial with Next Paradigm. Today I'm going to talk about the radial wipe transition in Adobe After Effects. So let's get towards the After Effects. Again I'm going to make a new composition of a standard size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Select 30 frames per second. Also, adjust the time and color and hit OK. First, create a new solid layer. For this right click on the layer panel. Go to new and click solid. Select the color that you want. Now go to the effects and presets panel and search for the radial wipe. Now change the transition completion value to 100%. Make sure that you are at the first frame and make the keyframe on transition completion. Also, change the wipe setting to counterclockwise. Then go one second forward and change the transition value to 0%. The animation now looks like that. Press U to open keyframes. Select both the keyframes and ease them by pressing F9. Then open Graph Editor and change the curve to something like this. One peak at the center is created now. Go back to the panel and make two duplicates of the solid. I'm calling it white. Now make another duplicate and rename it red. For changing color. Go to a solid setting and change the color. Now place the white at 10 frames and also move the pink layer to 20 frames. Check the animation looks like this now. Now select the red layer and make a duplicate of this by hitting Ctrl and D. Place this at a 1 second position. Then select all three bottom layers, right click on them and then pre-compose them. Rename it, I'm calling it Radial Wipe. Now change the Track Matte to Alpha Inverted Matte. You can enable the Track Matte panel below from here. Change it to Alpha Inverted Track Matte Mask. Before finalizing I'm also making a solid black layer for the background. To get better motion results. You can enable motion blur of the composition from here. Preview this. This looks cool and fantastic.